Good Tuesday evening, everyone. Just wanted to give you an update on our snow chances coming up this week. Um, first of all, Wednesday is looking good. Sun and clouds, <clears throat> highs in the low 50s. Not looking for any troubles there. No weather worries. By Thursday, we may have a chance for some light precipitation early Thursday morning. Some of the data has been a little conflicting on that. That could mix with some snowflakes. Not looking for that to be an impactful event. Um, but then Thursday during the day, at any point, we could see a rain shower or maybe even a rain shower mixed with some snowflakes. And then by Thursday night, as temperatures drop below freezing and the snow showers ramp up and a little bit of coverage there, I think we could see some accumulation and probably looking at our best shot yet um, this season of our first light snow accumulation. And by light snow accumulation, I mean pretty light. <laughs> Because look at that high temperature on Friday, get up into the mid to upper 30s, that's gonna have an impact on that accumulation. And the good news is, is that we'd get to see the snowflakes fall during the daytime. The bad news is for those of us who wanna see snow accumulation, those temperatures are above freezing. And so that's gonna have an impact on those totals. Now, Friday night into Saturday morning, once again, temperatures drop below freezing. So again, the potential for some accumulation because I do think this system will linger on into the early hours of Saturday morning. If I were to guess, you know, I've got the weather aware time frame there. If you have travel plans, the only two time periods I would be probably the most concerned about would be that early morning Friday morning and then the early morning Saturday morning. Um, but uh, even then, I'm not looking for this to be an incredibly high impact event. Um, but you do want to watch those bridges and overpasses for any accumulation that may occur on those or, um, or any ice that may form. So by Sunday, we're back to partly cloudy and highs in the mid 40s. Now, looking at our chances for different snow amounts, and again, stay tuned because this could change, but my confidence is high in a dusting to a quarter of an inch, um, about 50-50 shot of a quarter of an inch to half an inch, and then about 30% shot, I would say, from a half inch to one inch, and then it's looking unlikely that we would get over an inch. Now, these are accumulations that I'm saying are the most would be the most widespread. There's always going to be those areas that get a little bit less, those areas get a little bit more. But as far as widespread accumulation, I think we're looking at a pretty good shot for up to a, a good solid dusting, a good coating of snow, um, maybe even up to a half an inch. Now, if data comes in tomorrow with colder temperatures on Friday or, you know, a little bit more moisture, um, hopefully the system, you know, for those of us who want some snow, there's been some data that suggests the system is going to be weakening as it comes over our area. That would certainly have an impact on accumulations as well um, in a negative way for those of us who want accumulation. But uh, it's a it's an interesting system to track that is for sure and i will say there's another system of interest coming up around the first day of january so um, i'll have to keep you posted on that as we get a little bit closer to that time frame but i'll continue to monitor this system right now i think it's looking like a good shot for some light snow i think we're definitely going to see some snowflakes fall we'll just have to keep an eye on those uh, trends on how much snowfall accumulation we may expect as we get a little bit closer to that time i'll have a full update in the morning i'll have another special update wednesday night you just keep it right here meteorologistsmart.com